All right, so we have the brand new update, the bi-weekly update. My bad, I have my throw over me. It is 4 o'clock in the morning here. It is cold as hell, so please excuse me, okay? Try to stay warm. Anyways, as you know, this update will give us leaks to the brand new cosmetics such as skins, gliders, pickaxes, uh, back blings, etc., etc. So um, there's a couple of good ones here, I'm not going to lie, and there's one in particular that I feel like everyone's going to use. I don't know why they did it, but... Regardless, let's just get into it, and um, you guys let me know how you feel about these skins. If you like them, if you don't, start a conversation in the comments below. All right, so the first skin is going to be the one that I was literally just telling you that I, I, I it's absolutely crazy, okay? it's They're calling this the Galaxy skin, and it's pretty much a noob skin in, like, a god tier. He, he literally looks like... If you guys recall the leak we did a couple days ago, there was a skin that it was kind of like a code name. It was under a celestial type of thing. And it appears like this is probably that galaxy skin. And it was named celestial in that particular leak. And it's pretty much a noob skin turned into a god form. And I, I want to say if I had to guess, okay, this is just me speculating. I want to say that this is Fortnite kind of like going along with the whole little new trend that you know using noob skins is the cool thing to do nowadays so they literally <laughs> they literally were like okay well let's make a fucking noob skin that looks godlike and maybe people will buy it i mean that's what i'm thinking i don't know but there you have it i mean he looks out of this world literally no pun intended looks pretty cool i, I think it's cheesy but in a sense i it's something that i probably like to get for myself i i think it looks cheesy but worth buying i don't know if that makes any sense anyways next skin we have the famous finally in the game the famous dirt burger man and we finally have an actual look at what this skin is going to look like um i like it man i really like the swag he, he totally fits the theme half orange half blue the pants he's got the little uh, you probably won't be able to see it on these images that I'll put here, but there's he's got like the little mustard stuff and, and shit like hanging through his pants, like the little bottles of mustard and ketchup. It's pretty cool. So the following skin is the 80s theme skin that we spoke about. And of course, you have your male version and your female version. I don't remember. I, I want to say again, I don't know if I'm mistaken by this, but I don't remember Fortnite bringing so many male skins and female skins like as a bundle i don't remember them doing this because this is not the only pack in this leak that brings a male and a female you also have the brand new racing skins that also come in male and female i mean I i'm okay with it but it feels to me like sometimes it's kind of like just too repetitive like i understand if you bring one bundle of skins that has a female and a male and then everything else is kind of unique whether it's a, a unique male character or whether it's a unique female character but the fact that you're repeating the skins over and over from male to female like it feels like the last update as well i think had two bundles of male and female skins i don't know it feels a little bit repetitive to me but that's okay next one is the sushi chef we also spoke about this a couple of days ago when that huge leak happened and um i, I didn't expect this guy to look like this i thought he was gonna look like probably like a little short fat man with like I know I'll probably, this probably sounds fucked up. I don't know. I just, what I envisioned. I didn't envision this handsome, young, fucking teenage wolf guy that looks like he's going to pull every fucking chick he makes sushi for. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> that's all I'm saying. I'm sorry for those of you that make sushi and are not short and fat. I mean, I didn't mean to insult you. I'm sorry. The next up we have is the panda skin. This is something that... I knew it was eventually going to happen. I felt like that pink teddy bear in the beginning was so popular. And, and, and then they brought the one for the 4th of July. And now we finally have the panda skin in a version of a teddy bear. So it's pretty much the pink teddy, the 4th of July teddy, but with a different type of skin scheme and it makes it look into a panda i like it i think this is probably gonna be one of my favorite ones i didn't like the fourth of july one I, that shit looks creepy i like this one and i also like the pink one really quickly i just want to say that before you buy the white out racers um or the street racing white and the street racing white male and female better yet it's gonna be a heat up like just understand that you buying those skins you're going to be spotted from anywhere just wanted to say that okay let's move along of course within these leaks we always have the skins but then with the skins comes the cosmetics, such as the harvesting tools, also known as the pickaxes. And then, of course, some of these skins are legendary, so they do bring back blings, etc., etc. 
So uh, first off, we're going to get into the pickaxes here. The first pickaxe, right off the bat, I want to say that this one probably belongs to the 80s theme skins. And it appears to be some type of barbell with some weights. As you guys can see, that's going to be a pickaxe. I actually like that. I think that's pretty cool. I mean, whether it looks like it or not, I used to lift weights back in the days. Now I'm fat as hell. So I like this. I'm a fan of this. I, I, I thought that one of the emotes was going to be pumping iron, like pumping weights, because one of the code names was pump. But it appears like it's not. But anyways, at least we got it in a pickaxe format. Something that resembles a gym or some shit. I don't know. Next pickaxe appears to be like it belongs to probably, I want to say, the Sushi Chef. Okay, I don't know if he's going to be a legendary or epic. Again, the ones that do have sometimes priority over pickaxes are legendaries or epic. Sometimes they'll put like a little extra pickaxe bundle that goes with that skin. So I want to say this one probably goes along with the Sushi Chef. It's kind of like... A sword or maybe like a big knife. I honestly don't know what to call the rest of this pickaxe, but it looks cool. And uh that's that's all I could that's all I can tell you about it. I don't know. The next pickaxe looks like some magical type of staff. This one probably belongs to the galaxy skin within Fortnite, the galaxy noob skin. Out of all the skins here, this is probably on the only one that I can think of that this belongs to. I don't see that belonging to the panda or the 80s dancers, or the whiteout racers. That's just me speculating. Now, the last pickaxe, I like it. I think it's going to be kind of one of those that is probably going to be used at the moment, and then people are probably going to forget about it. But it's the burger flipper, man. It's it's pretty much the, the, the pickaxe that belongs to their burger skin. We don't have a lot of new pickaxes, but then again, when these skins or cosmetics get leaked, we don't really get a lot of pickaxes. What we really do get a lot of is... Um, skins and of course sometimes a lot of back blinks that come with these skins getting into the back blinks um, The first one's actually pretty creative. I don't know how sometimes they come with these Ways of assembling these back blinks, but it looks cool. It's pretty much a rack set of weights um, Five pounds probably 25 pounds 45 pounds I don't know and then you have a belt around the weights um, To hold them all together of course and that's gonna be a back bling. That's pretty cool following that one These are all back blinks right now following that one. We have a boom box Again, this is going to go with the 80s theme, you know. I don't know if the boombox is going to have any cool features. I don't think so. Back blinks never usually do. But yeah, there you guys have it. That's a boombox as a back blink. Following that, we have both the... Uh, this is for the Street Racer skins. Again, I don't know if the Street Racer White and Street Racer White male and female better yet. I don't know if that's a code name for the skins. But I'm a little bit conflicted because they look like racing skins. But then they have backpacks with like swords. So now I feel like they're ninjas. I don't know how I feel. I'm kind of confused. If you guys could clear it up, I would be very, very appreciated. The next back bling, of course, it belongs to the Durburger skin. And this is pretty much a set of fries. Pretty cool, I guess. Yeah. I mean, if you're into that type of shit. The following back bling is a set of bamboo sticks. I, I first thought this was probably going to belong to the Sushi Chef, but I think it now belongs more to the Panda skin. And probably one of the previous pickaxes that we just discussed might actually belong to the panda skin. This is literally like the most pointless back bling I have ever seen. It's literally like six sets of like sticks with a rope around it. <laughs> I don't know, man. Moving on, we have the back bling for, and this has to be it, for the sushi chef. It appears to be some type of sushi oven. You can see the little sushi rolls right there on top. I think it's cool. It might. It, it, it looks like it's going to be a really big back bling. I don't know how I feel about that, but overall, pretty creative. The things that I really don't care about, but sometimes they look pretty awesome. And I do feel that the gliders are getting better. Before, they were more just like gliders. Now, they're getting like crazy. I mean, literally, you'll see some of these. They look like motorcycles. As a matter of fact, they are motorcycles. Okay, so the first one's going to be for the Dirt Burger. You have... This was actually really cool. You have the mustard and the ketchup and some plates and some salt and vinegar or salt and pepper. And it's pretty much turned into a fucking glider. I don't know how they get creative like this. I don't have the mental capacity to bring this into a glider. You give me ketchup and mustard, I don't know what to do with it. Moving on, we got the 80s type of uh, glider. I really don't even like this one. It's it's cool, I guess, but not a big fan. The next gliders are actually the motorcycle gliders I was just talking about. You got the black one and the white one. This is probably going to be you know one or the other. They said you pick the white one or the black one. Kind of like how we had with that little spaceship glider a couple months back. And then, of course, you also have... Um, I want to say this also belongs to the Sushi Chef just because it does have his logo and the top of the glider looks like, I don't know, some type of sushi pattern going on there. Emotes. We have the 80s aerobics, which again, that's probably going to belong to the 80s skins. 
I really think this will be a cool dance. Like 80s aerobics. I, I want to say even the theme little music that they're going to add to this dance might be even cool. Following that, we have the chug dance. I don't know. Again, a lot of these uh, dances or emotes, better yet, are hard to depict and, and kind of like hard to say what they're going to look like or what they're going to do just because it's only one silhouette and that's all we really get. You also have the cowbell, the hot stuff, and the pump dance. I thought the pump was going to be like lifting weights. But it's not. It's literally going to be a pump dance. And um, that's pretty much it for cosmetics as far as this new update goes. Let me know in the comments. I, I, I've, I've been wondering lately what you guys think. Because we do get new skins so frequently in this game. And I have just been wondering. Do you guys feel like it's getting repetitive? Or do you think that they're still keeping it creative with these skins? I feel like one of these skins of one of the other is probably going to go along with the theme that's happening in real life. Fortnite seems to go a lot with like... I, like I told you the last time, Shark Week was around, so they brought a bunch of shark skins. Um, I don't know if there's any type of theme this year around or, or this month around that some of these skins can relate to. But regardless, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like the skins? Which one is your favorite? Which one do you not like? Overall, I think they're all pretty cool and unique. Um, but sometimes, I don't know, I guess it's just so many skins that I'm already like, dude, what the hell am I supposed to do with all the skins I got? Anyways, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like, and I'll catch you the next one.